ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Bowles is here now with how to preserve your carved masterpiece just a little bit longer. Okay, but before we get into that, can we just take a second to appreciate oh my goodness. So this sweet. throwback picture? I'm gonna take it full Who is, screen. Who's that kid? Who's that She's baby? She's my favorite child in the whole world. Oh Little my. Alessia, this is last year. Uh, Candace, I know you're carving your pumpkins tomorrow night, so I yes. would expect an updated picture, okay? Fine deal. All right, well, when it comes <laughs> to Halloween, there are plenty of things to be scared of. Haunted houses, ghosts, goblins, but nothing will give you a case of the heebie-jeebies like a stinky, moldy pumpkin, am I right? Hopefully you haven't turned yours into a jack-o'-lantern just yet because you're gonna wanna keep these tips in mind before you start the carving process. So let's start with tip number one, and that's gonna be know how to carve correctly. Instead of cutting the hole around the stem like you see here, make an opening at the bottom of the pumpkin. That will allow extra moisture to get out instead of just sitting at the bottom. Now you also wanna be sure to scrape all the guts out because any leftover pulp will just speed up the rotting process. And we certainly don't need that. Now step two, we'll call this one preparing our potions. In this step, you'll make one of these different mixtures and coat your pumpkin in it to help with preservation. Now we've got a lot of different options here. Candace, you actually broke these down for us. So you, you can use a bleach-based solution, which we explain how to mix here, petroleum or vegetable oil, rubbing alcohol or floor cleaner, or even just some hairspray that you already have around the house. Just make sure that if you do use an oil or other flammable solution, you don't use an actual flame to light the inside of your pumpkin. In that case, battery-operated lights or glow sticks will make for good alternatives. Now, our third and final step is pretty easy. Find a spot in your home that won't dry out the pumpkin quickly. Ideally, that's gonna be someplace cool with no direct sunlight. So if you'd like to avoid rotting jack-o'-lanterns altogether, there are plenty of no-carve or painting ideas that the kids will still enjoy. To see these tips again and share some of your own pumpkin expertise with us, just go to clickorlando.com slash Halloween, guys. Yeah, last year um, I did the uh, Vaseline, so it was the petroleum, yeah. and everything looked good. I put it out for uh -huh. Halloween for the trick-or-treaters. <clears throat> I forgot it for a couple days outside. Oh, and then it was all over. Gross. Yeah, I got home last Gross. night and there was a carved pumpkin on my porch, so I was oh. busy. Oh, she was yes, busy. Yes, after school yesterday, <laughs> so hopefully it will last yes. for the rest of the week. <laughs>